changing on it, okay? I said what I said, As and always. I'm not changing on it, okay? Oh <laughs> my good sis Kenya Moore. <laughs> That's Yandy. See, this is what I live for. Like nothing below the bell, funny sh child. You know you don't mess up when Essence Magazine of all people, like the number one uplift of African American women, and jump on the bandwagon and coming for you. Okay, what's up, my Vina loves? It's Miss Vina D coming to you all from Vina Team and News now. To be fair, Essence did not tweet nothing disgusting. They simply tweeted about a real show. I honestly didn't know this was like, when I saw this, I laughed. And then I started reading it in the comments and I'm like, oh, I saw this first when Essence tweeted. Tell me why I binge watched last night. Like I was just going from episode to episode. It's so fascinating, right? And so... Essence was just saying, hey, if the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, let you go because, I mean, there's only so many phone calls, scenes they can shoot, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, before getting tired, then Sheree will have, Sheree will and can have a comeback, you know, with that show. So people laughed and then you have people going in on Essence, oh, don't do this, your Essence magazine, you uplift black women, don't, you know, don't get mixed up in this mess, but I don't see anything wrong with Essence tweeting that. Now, in that video, before I get to, when all of this started, uh, this was my reaction right here. You know, just me sitting back for the petty shade, nothing below the bell, just fun and all of that. <laughs> Sheree wedding reception. <laughs> Oh my God. Vic said Jesus. <laughs> when Sheree visit Tyra. <laughs> I'm so freaking done with the internet. <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go ahead and continue. <laughs> oh Lord. Vic said Jesus. <laughs> Not today, sin. And then now it's just it's just changed. They just they they're just going too far. At first it was all laughter and shade and you know. Now at this point it's just like okay, we get it. I don't like each other. Let's move on, girls. <laughs> but when I tell you, it's like it have to be mentally draining and exhausting to to just be going at each other like that. Like Sheree, Kim, Nene, they are still going at it on Twitter, and I'm just like, y'all even tired? Like these grown women, I try not to <laughs> curse, <laughs> you know, still going at it on Twitter. But before I get into the tweets, one of the things that is hurting Sheree and I talked about is. This whole seeking validation, wanting to impress people and all of that is very hurting her financially. So you know how Sheree posted this image right here with her watch talking about I got time. She posted this before Tyrone uh, appeal was denied. Okay, so when his people were already going in on her because she's basically walked right into that joke about having time. So <laughs> with all of these uh, comments here of people joking about, you know, her man doing time when he, when his appeal got denied, it got worse. Then there's this person, the comment talking about, you notice how she's not showing her entire body. It's just on her wrist. It's because I was, my friend worked at this place. Sheree was in the store, trying it on, did not purchase it and took a picture to see how it looked on her hand, and that's a picture she posted. So people over there now dragging Sheree, like, yeah, she go again, trying to behave like she can afford this. I'm just like, oh, poor little thing, thing, Sheree. But, you know, when the whole news broke about Tyrone and all of that, I, I talked about it in the last video with Nini, you know, having a lot to, to say with that whole situation so i'm gonna go ahead and include you know some of the tweets in here you know from nini and then we're gonna talk more about it well nini was basically saying you know all of you not all of you as in the fans but sheree kim you know coming for her and, and talking about sheree especially you know defending tyron and coming for nini and talking about she wanted him and all of that this is my thing guys like 
I'm sure all of you are smarter than that. Like, Sheree, whether she cares for Tyrone or not, she cares for that check. And anyone, it did not matter, anyone that would have allowed her the opportunity to still be on the show, she would have accepted. It just all happened that she couldn't find anyone in time. And Tyrone was like, hell yeah, I'm in jail. I ain't going nowhere. You know, I got time as far as the phone calls. Sure. And then Sheree is thinking, well, he's in jail. I don't need anybody right now bothering me as far as, you know, all that stuff. Like he's away. All I have to do is take his phone calls and get this check. Like the only place where fear or concern comes in is that I don't see this any up well because I don't because I'm just wishing Sherry the best and I'm hoping that she keeps her eyes open and leave it at that. But as and so Kim and Nini been going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, and Sheree been quiet because you know she got news her man not coming home and so she took a day or so of social media and then of course she gets back and yeah she talks about Nini here because Nini referred to her as this and Nini was just playing on words and of course the classic line by wig (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> as it relates to Kim, we'll always remember that. But Sheree didn't take too kindly, you know, about Nini talking about hair. So she went ahead and, you know, made this tweet right here. Funny, the same person who's calling everyone wig is the only person scared to come out of hers. I've known her almost 20 years and have never seen her real hair or edges I'm like, oh, Lord, here we go. You know, I was just thinking Nene was about to snap the wig off child and show us her long, gorgeous hair on all of that. Because trust me now, just because some of these people wear wigs doesn't mean they don't have beautiful hair. We already know Kenya Moore have beautiful hair. But it doesn't mean, you know, we have all that money. I'm sure people are taking care of their hair on on all of that. Not everybody, but, you know. But of course, Nini is not going to do any of that to prove anything to Sheree or anybody. So that's why Sheree went ahead and tweeted. Of course, Kim retweeted it and threw it in her two cents. Like I said, trying to prove. Just like, man, these are green. This, these are grown women. Like Nini is a grandmother. I mean, like these are grown women. Like going back and forth. It's like let it go already. You know. And it's just so much anger, and I heard that it's going to be a lot worse at the reunion. Whatever the case might be, you know, I'm wishing everybody well, but it's it's just like, wow, it is so toxic. Now, Kim refused to apologize. Her daughter was wrong, okay? Like, they were, I would never agree with that, wrong. And then, of course, Brielle hops on Instagram Live, you know, I'm not working calm every now and then. You want to see this. Yep. <laughs> he comes regularly. Good to see you again. No roaches over here. You know, I kind of just get on live to look at myself. Do y'all ever do that? This is not my good side, but my hair is kind of parted to the side today. Oh, Nini House again, and Roach Gate, and all of that. And it's like people are gonna be like, oh, like when Sheree was like, kids are off limits. Like, how can you even support your friend and say kids are off limits when her kid don't have no respect? Like, why? Why is she even doing this? Like, it's almost like. She feels like it was okay to record and do what she did. And those were not roaches in any house. So that's what Bria went ahead and did. And the feud started all over again. And these women are just going at it. You know, I just wanted to have some fun with it. You know, post these memes right here. It was hilarious. Some of the comments just had my stomach like, oh my gosh, I was in tears on the floor and all of that. Because when it's funny... But when it gets to the point where it just get nasty and these women just going after each other and stuff like that, then I'm just like, okay, 
I'm done with it. But I want Although Shamia wasn't on Twitter involved in any beef, she was actually on her page, you know, telling Kenya more thank you and Kenya was on her page doing the same, telling everyone, you know, uh, writing and posting, giving everyone a shout out for, you know, helping with the PSA. During that episode, Shamia did make a comment when she was standing with Sheree and she used the word dainty and people touched she was joining Sheree in insinuating that Kenya husband is gay because Shamir is the same person that did that small video that I posted saying that Will uh, Cynthia Billy you know <laughs> the guy she's dating that he's bisexual and she knows that because she heard it from she heard it in the streets basically so people were coming for her and this is her clarifying that no she wasn't coming for a kenya husband she was talking to sheree telling sheree that um is very denty and she wasn't throwing shade to kenya husband because people were like okay you're in kenya just made up you're in her psa so why are you doing this so that's um, Shamia basically clearing that up and saying that. The definition of dainty is something um, delicate, small, pretty, things like that. And Mark knows the ring was very small. So even if she was referring to his ring as dainty, she was just basically saying that it was small. But she was saying that um, I'm going to go ahead and give her the benefit of the doubt and believe her. She said she wasn't coming for the guy. I also want to quickly add most of the tweets and things like that I did get them myself by going to Twitter but the ones you saw that had the images and they were colorful and all of that I took those from Real Housewives of Atlanta fan page on Instagram so let me go ahead and give them their shout out real quick they basically post away how I post on Instagram I'm very detail oriented and when I post I love to like tell a story so I love how they added the images and all of that so let me go ahead and give them credit for those tweets and um, images and also the image with the wig of Sheree and Nina. but anyways my final loves I'm wishing you all an amazing day and remember to always have the God bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys God bless